while, you get that voicemail from a friend or family member who cared enough to pick up the phone and wish you happy birthday or tell you something special. And if it's really meaningful, you might want to save it on your computer for safekeeping. The thing is, you can't just drag and drop voicemails from your phone to your computer. On the iPhone, voicemails are stored on your computer when you sync it, but the files are stored in weird, unreadable formats. Likewise, unless your Android has a visual voicemail service with forwarding, like T-Mobile, your voicemails are stored on your carrier server. There are a few ways you can save voicemails, but after a lot of consideration, I realized that the best way to get your voicemails from your phone onto your PC is with a simple audio trick. To get started, you'll need a Mac or PC with Audacity installed, and a stereo or audio cable, also known as aux or mini-to-mini. -mini. Now, plug the cable into your microphone port and launch Audacity. First off, you want to make sure you can hear what you're doing, so go to Preferences and check the box next to Software Playthrough. Next, grab your phone and find your voicemail. If you have visual voicemail like the iPhone, it's easy. Just find it in the list here. Plug the audio cable into your phone and press Record on Audacity, then hit Play on your phone. Hey, happy birthday. You'll see the waveforms show up as it records. If the level is too low, you can always turn up the volume on your phone. When it's done, hit stop and play it back to make sure it worked. Hey, happy birthday. I hope your day is awesome. See you later. Bye. Now, if you have one of the many Android phones that doesn't have visual voicemail like this Galaxy Nexus, you'll have to call your voicemail service. So after you plug the cable into your phone, hit record, call your voicemail service, Please edit your password, then press pound. Enter your password, do all that. You have two new voice messages. Then play your message. Hey, 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 happy birthday. I hope you have a great day. And when it's done, stop recording. Now hit play to play back your voicemail. Hey, 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 hey. You can trim off all that extra audio by highlighting it with your cursor, then hitting delete. When you're done, go to File, Export, give it a name, and then select the file type you want to save it as, like MP3 or WAV. Hit Save, and you're done. If you're like, Sharon, I don't have a mic input, well, there is another quick and dirty option. Unplug any audio cables, turn monitoring off in Audacity, and hit Record. Then play the voicemail back through your speakerphone while pointing it at your laptop's mic. Your day is awesome. See you later. Bye. This isn't the best audio quality, but since the voicemail is crappy to begin with, you won't hear a huge difference. The same method could be used with your friend's phone. Just launch a recording program on their phone, play your voicemail, and then email the recording to yourself. Finally, if you want to save all of your voicemails going forward, consider using a service like Google Voice or Umail. If you have any questions or want to follow all of my how-tos and tricks, hit me up on Twitter and subscribe to my Facebook profile. For CNET.com, I'm Sharon Backman.